Today we begin atomic structure, and we can't do atomic structure without looking at the nucleus of the atom. You see, an atom contains at its core a small, dense, and positively charged nucleus that's made of two different kinds of particles. First of all, we have the positive protons. Each proton has a mass of one and a charge of plus one. Therefore, two protons would have a combined charge of plus two and a mass of two atomic mass units. Three protons would have a total combined charge of plus three and a mass of three atomic mass units. The other particle that we can find in the nucleus is the neutron. The neutron has a neutral charge. It has no charge at all, hence the name neutron. It has the same mass as a proton, one atomic mass unit. Actually, technically, it's a tiny scooch higher than that, but we just ignore that extra little bit. So one neutron would have a mass of one AMU and no charge. Two neutrons would have a mass of two AMUs and again, no charge. And three neutrons have a mass of three AMU and a charge of zero again. Zero plus zero plus zero is still zero. An element is defined by the number of protons that an atom has in its nucleus. For example, the element hydrogen contains one proton in its nucleus. This particular form or isotope of hydrogen has a mass of one because it made of only one proton. So the mass goes on top, the charge goes on the bottom. There are two other forms of hydrogen. Each of them, again, is made of only one proton. The difference is each one contains a different number of neutrons. This form of hydrogen, which contains one neutron, has a combined mass of two atomic mass units. This is referred to as deuterium. The third form of hydrogen, or isotope, contains two neutrons in addition to the one proton. They have a combined mass of one, two, three atomic mass units per atom. This isotope is referred to as tritium. These are the three isotopes of hydrogen. The definition of isotopes are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. Notice they're all the same element. They all contain one proton, and therefore they're the same element, but the number of neutrons varies, therefore the mass varies as well. Those are isotopes. Deuterium is a radioactive isotope. We'll take a look at that in our next segment. When you're taking a look at an element, mass can also be referred to as the mass number. And charge is also referred to as the atomic number. So if you want to find the number of protons in the nucleus, it's simply the atomic number, the number of protons in the nucleus. Each one of these has an atomic number of one, and therefore it's going to have exactly the same number of protons and be the same element. The mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. One proton, mass of one. One proton, one neutron, mass of two. One proton, two neutrons, adds up to a combined mass of three. Let's see if we can identify this nucleus right here. This nucleus contains four protons. Therefore, it has an atomic number of four. And if you look on the periodic table, the element that has four protons, an atomic number of four, is Be, beryllium. So I'll put the symbol Be to indicate that that's which element we're dealing with. And again, it doesn't matter whether we take neutrons away or add neutrons, the number of protons identifies the element. What's the mass number of this isotope? Well, there are four protons plus one, two, three, four, five neutrons for a combined total of an atomic mass of nine. That's the mass number of this particular isotope. 
what would the mass number of this isotope be? You guessed it. We added one more neutron. Now it has a mass number of 10. What if we went a step further and added another proton? Now it would have a mass number of 11. But that's not the end of it. You see, you just added another proton. Therefore, the atomic number has now changed. And we need to look up what the symbol of the element is on the periodic table. Element 5 is boron, B. So not only did we change the number of protons, by doing so, we changed what element we're dealing with. So the number of protons identifies what element you have, and depending on how many neutrons you have, that will tell you which isotope you have. Another way of identifying isotopes is by writing the symbol of the element followed by the mass of that particular isotope. This has a mass of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is known as boron 11, and the 11 refers to the mass number of the isotope. If, on the other hand, we removed a neutron, now our isotope would weigh one less. Our isotope would be identified as boron 10. So the isotope can also be identified by what the mass of that isotope is. As you look at this, you'll notice that the protons are the only thing in the nucleus that have a charge. There are five protons in the nucleus. Therefore, the nuclear charge or the charge of the nucleus is plus 5. Or you might write it as 5 plus. Basically means the same thing. That means that the overall charge is 5 to the positive side. The neutrons don't contribute anything to this. So the nuclear charge is basically the number of protons with a plus sign in front of it to represent the fact that the protons have a positive charge. And therefore, the entire nucleus is positively charged. This is going to come in very handy later in the year when we talk about things like atomic radius, electronegativity, which we did in a previous segment. But it will make a lot more sense knowing that the nucleus has a positive charge. So let's see if we can identify which isotopes we have here. Here, we have one proton. We have two particles in the nucleus. An element with one proton is hydrogen. This can also be written as H-2 because the mass is 2 AMUs. This element contains two protons in the nucleus. The element with two protons is helium. There are four particles in the nucleus for a total mass number of four. This can also be written as helium-4. This nucleus contains three protons. The element with three protons, according to the periodic table, is lithium. This contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven particles in the nucleus. Its mass number is seven. This can be referred to as lithium seven. The nuclear charge of this nucleus, plus one. The nuclear charge of this nucleus, two protons, plus two. The nuclear charge of this nucleus, with three protons, plus three or if you prefer, 2 plus, 3 plus. The convention that I will be using in these videos this year puts the plus or minus sign before the number.